The decades of the 60s and the 70s are characterized by conflict, uncertainty, chaos, and poverty in Southeast Asia. The war in Vietnam was raging. There were bilateral animosities and rivalries among the countries of Southeast Asia, who were still then being weaned away from the yoke of the old habits and legacies of colonialism. And yet, despite these daunting challenges, five visionary leaders came together and forged the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN. The historic ASEAN Declaration, also known as the Bangkok Declaration, was signed by the then Deputy Prime Minister Tun Abdul Razak of Malaysia, Foreign Minister of the Philippines, Narciso Ramos, Minister Adam Malik of Indonesia, Minister Esra Jaratnam of Singapore, and Minister Tanat Koman of Thailand, in Bangkok on 8 August 1967. The historic moment was captured in this iconic photograph, which has become the symbol of ASEAN integration. Dismissed by observers at the time, with very little chance of survival, ASEAN has overcome its daunting challenges and has become today one of the most, if not the most successful regional grouping in the world. 50 years after the signing of the Bangkok Declaration, the Philippines, as chair of ASEAN in 2017, considered it appropriate to celebrate this golden anniversary by paying tribute to the founding fathers of ASEAN. There was no better way to do this than to commission a painting to interpret and depict this historic signing. The ASEAN Committee of Permanent Representatives, charged with the task of choosing approving initiatives to commemorate the 50th anniversary of ASEAN, selected Mr. Peter Paul Blanco, a budding Filipino painter hailing from a family of painters to translate into canvas this historic moment. The resulting painting is a masterpiece capturing the significance of the moment. The painting, aptly entitled Tribute to the Founding Fathers of ASEAN, was unveiled by the Philippine Foreign Affairs Secretary Alan Peter Cayetano, along with then Secretary General of the ASEAN, Le Luang Min, in commemorative ceremonies on 8 August 2017 in Manila. The signing of the Bangkok Declaration on the 8th of August 1967 was a historic moment. And I think the painting captures very well the historical significance of that moment. And uh, it is a very fitting uh, tribute to the founding fathers that this painting was unveiled on the 50th anniversary of ASEAN. As a Thai and an ASEAN citizen, I'm very proud of this portrait and um, I'm very happy that the painter of this portrait has depicted the actual atmosphere of the Bangkok Decoration signing. If you look at this uh, painting, concentrate on the face of all five ministers. They are very, very serious while signing the Bangkok Declaration that comes ASEAN 50 years uh, celebration in 2017. I, I, I repeat again the serious, seriousness of our founding fathers, five foreign ministers, they deliberated and they signed this document. Who is Peter Paul Blanco? What was his concept in developing his masterpiece? What are his views about art? How has his family influenced his artistic inclination? 
Let us listen to the artist himself. Ako po si Peter Paul P. Blanco at ako po ay isang Pilipino. Nagmula po ako sa pamilya ng mga pintor. Mula kay tatay, sa nanay, sa pitong magkakapatid, lahat po ay nagpipinta. Pamilya Blanco po ay tubong Rizal, nalawigan na Rizal, bayan ng Angono. Dahil po ng aming painting o genre ng aming painting ay into realism. Ang realism po ay yung kung ano po yung nakikita natin sa harapan natin, yun po yung mismong inilalagay natin sa kan. Ang isa po sa mga ipininta ko nung ako po ay nagsisimula pa lamang ay yung Christmas tree, pinamagat ang Christmas tree. Ito po ay ginuhi ko noong ako ay 11 months po. Pinipinta po ng pamilya ay yung Philippine Customs and Tradition. Makikita din po dito yung tribute po ni Tatay Pitok sa bayan ng Anggono. At ito po yung Anggono Town Fiesta o yung Pluvial na talaga namang minamahal ang sining. Kaya naman hindi po naging mahirap sa aking maging isang pinto. Dito po sa Pilipinas ngayon, madalas po nagkakaroon ng mga art exhibits. So ang mga artist po, na dumadalo at nagkakandap ng exhibit ay nagkakaroon po ng palitan ng mga uh, best practices at ng mga best ideas. Nung nalaman ko po ako po yung pinagkatiwala ang gumawa ng historic moment when ASEAN was born, yung tribute to the founding fathers of ASEAN, talagang namang halong emosyon po ang aking 
naramdaman. Na doon po yung kaba, na doon po yung saya, na doon po yung uh, pag-iisip na kaya ko ba itong gawin. At syempre po, na doon din po yung labis na pasasalamat po sa lahat ng nagtiwala sa akin at gano'n na rin po sa training na naibigay po sa akin ng aking tatay. Sa totoo lang po, bago ko po ito gawin, konti lang po talaga yung nalalaman ko tungkol doon sa makasaysayang pangyayari nyo. Nalaman dahil na rin po sa research na ginawa ko po. Maging po doon sa mga kasuotan noong panahong yon, maging yung po sa uh, pen na ginamit, yung microphone na ginamit, kulay ng kasuotan, yung temperature po nung lugar na yon, at lahat-lahat. Naka-challenge po sa akin doon sa painting na yon ay kung paano lalagyan ng kulay yung isang workshop. At ang mga tinuturoan po niya noong mga panahong yon ay yung mga may bahay ng mga iba't ibang ambassador po sa mga ASEAN country. Na nagkataon naman po na merong uh, participant po doon sa art workshop na yon na mula po sa Indonesia. Kaya naman, tinanong na rin po namin yung kung ano po yung kulay ng kasuotan noong pong foreign minister na si Adam Ali. Ngayon, nung nakita ko po yung painting na nakasabit po dun sa ASEAN Secretariat sa Jakarta, talaga nga naman pong uh, nakakataba ng puso, sobrang na-proud po ako dahil unang-una po uh, sa dami po ng magagaling na Pilipinong pintor, ako po yung pinagkatiwa. Pasasalamat. Maraming maraming salamat.